In this session, we're going to be having a look at how you can use GOMO's variables and display conditions to be able to uh, create a role selection filter. That what I want to be able to do is when the learner starts the course, that they can select their particular job role, and then we give them a, a welcome introduction based on the role that they've selected. And then we can then route them through to the appropriate topic, which covers their particular job area. So the way that we do this is, first of all, I want to create a variable, which is going to store the particular role selected. So what I do here, I'm going to create just a variable for just this project. So I'm looking at my project structure view. At the top left, I click on variables. And now at the top right, I can just say actions, create a new variable. And I'm going to call this role. And I'm not going to put in any default value because that's going to be set by the buttons that the learner clicks on. So I just click on create project variable. So there we have the role there. Let's go back to the project structure. And I'm going to go into my introduction topic here. So go into introduction. It just loads it up into the editor. And here I've got two screens with nothing in it at the moment. The first one is about uh, selecting the role. So let's just go to assets. Just going to drop in some text just to say, uh, please select your job role. There we go. Ah, so give it a heading two style. And uh, now I can just uh, drop in, let's use another content block just to space it out. So now I want the learner to be able to choose their job role based on some buttons. So here we go. Well, let's add in three buttons. Because I'm going to have three job roles and let's label these. So we'll call one, say, management. Call another one sales, and the third one, say technical. So that will give me three buttons on the screen. But uh, now what I want to do is, uh, when they click on those, I want to be able to store the selection that's been made. So uh, here we go. So first of all, with the management button, I need to attach some actions. So what's going to happen when we click the button? Well click on actions, let's add an action. And here from the actions, the first action I want is to set a variable. So I'm going to say set the variable, and we've just got the one variable, set the variable role. And what I want to store in there when you click the button is the word management. And uh, I'm also now going to add another action, because also when they click the button, I want to move on to the next screen so I can tailor the welcome message based on the role. So I'm going to add another action to say, another thing I want to do when this button is clicked is to link to a screen. And I want to go to the next screen in this topic, which is the introduction screen. So just click the update to actions. And let's just do that for the other buttons as well. So for the sales button, click on actions, add another action. And again, I want to set the variable role, but this time store the word sales. But also I want to link to the introduction screen. So we're going to link all of these to the same screen. It's just that we're storing different variables. So uh, different values in the variable. So let's add this in, set variable role, and this one's going to store the word technical. Add an action, and again, a link to the introduction screen. So uh, let's save that. So what will happen there is that, depending on which button I choose, then different values will be saved in that role variable. So now let's go on to our introduction screen. 
and I'm just going to add in three blocks of text here because I want to just tailor what the learner is going to see based on the role that they've selected. So first, in the first block of text, just say, um, for example, here you have chosen the management role, just so I know what's what. And I'll just copy that. Let's get the text in place. So again, this one, I want to display when they've chosen the sales role. And finally, I will have this for the technical role. Okay, so I have my three welcome messages here, but obviously I, I don't want to show those all on the screen at the same time. I want what's shown to depend on the actual role they selected, and that's going to depend then on uh, which button they clicked, and hence what's stored in that role variable. So now I can use a display condition on each of these pieces of text here. So if I just click on the, the management text, go over to the right hand side to its properties and now I can set a display condition on this text. So click to set display condition, click add display condition and this time the display condition I want is based on what's stored in a variable. So here I can say right well if what's stored in the role variable equals management. So if it's storing the word management then display it. And let's just do the same for the sales text here. Click on that, make sure I've got the right bit of text highlighted. Click on display conditions on the right hand side. And once again, select user variable, role equals, in this case, it should store the word sales. So if the word sales is stored in role, then we should show that. And finally, let's do the same for the technical text. Add that in, user variable, role equals technical. So if it's storing the word technical, then show this. Let's just save this. Go back to the navigator. And I'm just going to go back to the first screen. Let's preview this from the first screen. So let's click on preview, top left opens up another tab for my preview. And now uh, let's try this out. So here we go, please select your job role. So I'm going to click uh, management. And here you can see it's showing me the text that I assigned that display condition for when the role variable stores management. Let's just go back there and uh, just check that we've got this. So uh, click on technical. Okay, and now we get to the, you've chosen the technical role. So, so again, what we're doing on a single screen is just modifying what's shown on that screen based on what's stored in a variable by using those display conditions. But now I want to go further than that because what I want to be able to do as well is to, to say, well, what we're going to do is also change the flow of the course so I actually want to route through to different topics based on the roles selected. So based on what's actually stored in that role variable. And the way that we do that is let's go back into the editor. So on this introduction screen we give the role dependent welcome message and now I want to uh, add in some buttons here to to link it to those topics. So uh, let's go back to our assets. Just going to add in another content block here just to separate it visually. And now I'm going to add in some buttons. So I'm going to add in one button per role. And I'm going to give them all the same label. 
Here we go. I'm going to call them all next. Now, the key thing here is obviously I don't want three buttons labeled next appearing on the screen. What I want to do is to show one of those buttons depending on the role that's been chosen and then associate uh, different actions to those buttons. So first thing I'm going to do here, the first one I want to associate with uh, the management role. So I'm going to set a display condition, first of all, in the same way as we did with this management text, to say only show this button if uh, they've chosen management. So let's go over to the right hand side of the button properties, set a display condition, and exactly the same way as we did the text, I'm going to say show this button if what's stored in role is the word management. And just click update display conditions. And now let's just do the same for the display conditions for the other buttons. So this one, again, just as we did before, that if that contains the word sales, then show that button. And finally, for the technical one, so if raw equals technical. So just as the text will change dependent on what role has been selected, then which button appears will also change. So what I can now do is now attach actions and different actions to each of those buttons. So here what I'm going to do is to say with the next button here, this one is associated with, with management, so attach an action add an action and I want to link to a screen here. And the screen I want to link to is actually the management topic. So if I just choose management, that will take me to the first screen in the management topic. Click update. Let's just do the same for the others. So this one, it will be shown if we select the sales role. So I attach an action here to link to the screen. And this time I choose the sales topic. So that will route me through to the sales topic. And finally, an action on the sales button to say link to screen, uh, sorry, technical rather. So uh, we have management, sales, technical, linking to different topics. Uh, let's just save that. And go back to our preview. And let's see how that works. So I'm just going to refresh. So here we go. So let's go and select the management role. So click on that. Uh, as before, we get the text tailored to the role that we've chosen. And we get a next button. Notice we're not seeing three buttons. We're only seeing one because each has a different display condition attached. And if I now click Next, that's taken me into the topic, the first screen. And I've just labeled that there so that we can see we're in the management topic. Let's just check that we have the others there. So this time, let's refresh. Just reload the preview. And for example, here, let's take sales, get the sales related text. Again, we get a next button that looks identical to the, the one that we saw on the management screen. But now if we click this, it takes us into the sales topic. So that's the way that you can use display conditions and variables, both to be able to uh, let the learner choose, in this case, a particular, uh, a particular job role, and then tailor what we see on a particular screen based on display conditions, but then also using display conditions and actions to actually then control the flow of the entire course. So again, a very useful technique to use within your GOMO courses.